So to add a table of contents, you go to references at the top, table of contents, and then you can customize your own. So I'm going to customize my own um, because I need to make sure that this uh, is highlighted from template. That's important because if I click on some of the other examples, you'll see that those fonts are different to the fonts that we're using throughout our text. We're using Times New Roman and these are not. So we need to click from template and that template is our template that we have customized. At the moment, I only have three levels of headings in my text. But let's say whilst I'm writing, I add more headings. I need to make sure that I add a sufficient number of levels that all of the different types of headings I use are um, represented in my table of contents. So let's say ultimately I end up with eight levels, which would be um, a lot of different subheadings. But nevertheless, um, for demonstration purposes, we'll use that. Make sure that show page numbers is ticked because your table of contents must have your page numbers so that your reader can um, easily go to the, the part of the thesis or dissertation that they need to go to. And then you can modify further if you need to. So let's say TOC on the side here is table of contents. You want to change some of the formatting on the right hand side. You can do by let's say clicking TOC2, clicking modify, and then you might choose to um, change it based on the paragraph type. So for example, if we go to TOC1, which will be um, the first heading, what we can do is we can go style based on heading one, click OK. Same for TOC2, Go style based on heading two, click OK. TOC three, style based on heading three, OK. And if you've already preset these in the styles pane, then that's going to, again, make life easier for you. And you would do the same throughout um, based on heading four, five, six, and so on. Um, so click OK. And then once you've done that, click OK. And you will see that it has added the table of contents in for you. OK. So here I might choose to just add a space between my heading table of contents and the table itself. But you'll see that that has been added.